Here we are again with the HEC Tattoo and today, instead of comparing it to the Hero, I'm just going to give you a bit of a guided tour around uh, the interface here. Now this um, here, this first screen, this home screen, I mean you can change everything that is um, shown here. Uh, we've already seen we can scroll to the left, um, we can scroll to the right just by pushing our finger along and just pushing those, those um, pages along the screen. Um, we can change everything that's on here. Obviously, you've got this big clock here, and it tells you where I am at the moment, what the weather's like, what how warm it is. And um, we've got some icons down here that take us into the browser. And I've got a glorious GPRS signal on the top there. The camera there um, will take a picture depending on your orientation. So it'll take a portrait picture if you hold it like that, or if you flick it around like that, it'll take a landscape picture. Just point and shoot. It's a fixed focus on this one. You haven't got any. Uh, automatic focus like on the hero but I'm trying not to compare it to the hero um, so if I press on the screen it doesn't focus on this one whereas on the hero it would focus on whatever I tap on you've got a zoom bar here zoom in and out with the camera on the left hand side or you can use the up and down on your navigation control here on the right hand side and then it's just a matter of snapping a camera uh, snapping a shot rather you can then press that down there and you can share the image um, with, you may not be able to see this because of the white balance, but you can share it with uh, Facebook, Flickr, Google Mail, uh, so you can email it uh, through Google Mail or through your own POP3 email account if you wish, through messages as a, an MMS or through PEEP, as, um, a, which is the HTC onboard uh, Twitter client, and you can send it as an attachment in PEEP or you can send it to Picasso. So I would say let's send that one to Flickr, choose the Flickr, uh, of course you've already got, you've set up your Flickr account before, uh, I haven't here, so it says log into Flickr, you need to um, set your Flickr account before you do this, so I haven't done that, so I'm just going to say log in, and then it's just a matter of putting in the login details, obviously if you've done this once already, you won't need to redo it, but it'll take me through the, uh, the process here. Um, don't worry about the fact that nothing's loading at the moment, it's purely because I've got a very, very slow GPRS connection. So if I wanted to share that particular image, or any other image, I'd go into the camera shots here, and I can glide through the shots that I've taken, or I can flick it that way, and you can see it's very quick. Uh, there's a video I've taken, there's a, a goldfish, and I've got a picture here of... Um, lots of pictures that I've taken in my pocket by accident by the looks of it there's a picture I want to share it's a picture of some chocolate cake I took I can zoom in you saw the little zoom in flash there we've got the um, strangely enough we haven't got the um, dual touch thing on here I'm not entirely sure why but you know on the hero you could do the multi touch and you could zoom in on things you don't have that here so you have to um, zoom in with the uh, onboard um, the on-screen um, zoom function there so you can either press on the navigation control to zoom in or use these on-screen ones here same with the browser if I try browsing uh, let's browse to a website I think we're going to go to htc.com again we're on GPRS so this will take a, a, a short while to load up and I think the majority is, is in the cache already um, but we don't have that pinch and zoom functionality that is really really funky on the capacitive screen of the HTC Hero but again, I'm trying not to describe it. Here we go with the plus and minus. I'm trying not to compare it with the Hero, but unfortunately I, I do draw a lot of parallels with the Hero purely because the Hero is such a, a knockout, excellent device on every level. Um, so I can't do the... You see, as much as I try, the, the multi-touch isn't on this phone, unfortunately. Uh, it does have, though, uh, if we plug in our 3.5mm audio... Um, headset here which is the one that comes in the box also acts as a hands-free kit so you can press that little button there and sort of uh, interact with the phone so if I go back to my home screen pressing the home button down there I go into the this is the sort of Android system here if I go down to the FM radio it will do a search for uh, any FM stations in the area so it's going to do a search for me and then I can press the menu button down here and I can say loudspeaker please because as default it will come out over the headphones and I'm gonna say search and so it's gonna scan 
And there we go. BBC Radio. Signal 1. And I can adjust the volume on this one. Let's get a radio station. So I can turn it up on uh, on the left hand side here. It's BBC Radio Stoke. Hello, Duck. This is Radio Stoke. We've got electricity now, and if you can. So there we go. We've got. Um, we can tune around and have a listen to um, some very random music stations. The volume button on the left hand side here will adjust the volume depending on what you're in. So if you're watching a video, it'll adjust the video volume. If you're in a call, it'll adjust the call volume. It's very um, intuitive the way it works. So if I press back now, you'll still get the FM radio playing in the background. And here on the notification bar, which you can just drag down and it pulls down very well, you can have a look at what station you're listening to and um, adjust the volume if you want. You can do scan and save. You can mute. You can switch back to headset, which I'll do now. You can press this down here, and we can add in presets as well. So it's a very good little uh, FM radio, I must admit. And if we press plus down on the bottom right, we can add in preset names. And um, that's about it. Press the off button on the top right, and the power, to, well, the <laughs> FM radio will turn off. It's moaning a bit because I've taken the headset out far too quickly for it. And um, then I'll show you around a bit more. Here's the messages interface here on the bottom left. Composing a message, again, you know, a lot has got to be said about the capacitive and resistive screen difference. Obviously, you can't do the pinch and zoom and all that stuff. But the screen here, this on-screen keyboard, which I did show you in a previous video, uh, we can swap to a different keyboard by pressing the little cog there, and we can switch to uh, a phone keypad or a compact QWERTY. Um, this is the uh, sort of default one, the QWERTY keypad on-screen keypad, so I'll write who it's to, so I'm writing a message to um, Sam, and then just down here, okay, I haven't got Sam on the phone, let's just put in a number, number five. Tap to compose, and I'll go, hello, and it doesn't matter too much if I mess it up, because they've got this auto-correction system on here, so I can mash the keyboards quite badly, uh, the on-screen keypad quite badly. So if I say, hello, how are you, H-O-W, uh, I've typed that incorrectly, how are, see I've actually typed in how A-E-W, but it's automatically said, oh, you mean R, and if I just press space, it changes it. So that's the um, messaging interface, it does some um, grouped sort of um, messaging, um, what do they call it, threaded messaging, that's this. We've also got the mail system here, we can hop into that. You can set up an exchange account or POP3 IMAP account if you wish. Um, we also have this, I mean this HDC uh, Sense system is really just amazing. You can adjust it so much. So if I find here, let's say I don't want this weather tab here, it's loading up the weather and it gives you a very nice glossy um, depiction of what the weather's going to be like. It's sunny. So let's just tap and hold, drag it down to the bottom, let go, disappears. And then I can choose a plus button on the bottom right, I can choose HTC widget, I've got a, uh, a selection of widgets to choose from. I'm going to say calendar, I'm going to choose this little calendar here, so this will keep me informed on what I've got coming up. No appointments at the moment, but that's okay, it'll tell me if I have got an appointment coming up. I can choose another widget, for example, music. I want a music widget please, I want a small one, select that one, and I don't want it there actually, I want it down here a bit. So there's no music found, but it can, you know, if I don't want that at all, I can drag it down, move it, or if this tab is too full, I can move it to another um, screen. So um, that's a little bit about the HTC Sense interface. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here, I'm going to have to go to part two, because I'm restricted by the YouTube 10 minute rule. So um, I'll see you again in part two.